Hello everybody. The purpose of this video is to just remind you about a few things relating to Calico. This will basically be reviewing things that we did on class, in class, on Friday. So, to work with Calico, assuming you have it downloaded or on the computer you are sitting in front of, you'll double click on where it says Start Calico. Your icon may look slightly different if you're on a Windows platform. When it first opens up, Calico offers to make a new Python script. X that out. We don't need it. Go under File, choose New. We're going to make a Jigsaw program here, so click on that. And the first thing you get is a block called When Script Starts. Whatever goes inside here, inside this little slot here, is going to happen as soon as you click on the green. The things you put inside it are blocks, and the blocks snap together to, my, to make a full script, a full program. We have a number of blocks available to us, and they are organized into tabs. In input output, we have a very important block, the ask block. We bring this in here, and you'll notice down here I can say ask, and it says question in quotes. The quotes are important, don't lose them, but you can say anything you want here, like for instance, what is your favorite food? Okay, so I'll say that. And I'm going to store the answer gets stored in a variable. Right now the variable is called result, but that's pretty generic. A better name would be something like food, because that's what's going to be in there. And then we could print something. Anything that you print shows up down here in the output window. I'm going to say, what a coincidence. I also like, and then outside of the quotes, I'm going to put a plus food. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this phrase, what a coincidence, I also like, and it's going to join it together, after all that's what you would expect a plus sign would do, with the food uh, variable. Whatever's inside food is going to show up as part of the sentence. Notice that I have the space here between the like and the quote. I need that space, otherwise it's going to say, I also like with the food, with no space in between, it'll look messy. And you don't want your food to look messy, nor do you want your output to look messy. We can also beep. We saw how that worked quite effectively, I think. And you can change the duration. This is for one second. If you wanted to make it for, let's say, half a second, you could just type 0 0.5. And you can also change the frequency, so we'll make it slightly different. And finally, we are going to use, in the control, we're going to use a repeat loop. Any, and again, I have to drag this inside here. Anything in here gets done over and over again. That's a, a repeat loop. And there are many things in computer science that you like to do a lot. Uh, and let's find one of them. Here in input output, we are going to say speak. And I'll just say instead of hello, I'm just going to say food. Now this time I'm saying food not in quotes, so it's actually going to say whatever happens to be stored in food. Let's hope this happens. I'm going to make sure that I've got the... No, let me try that one more time. I'm going to try and make the volume sufficiently high so you can hear it. Now, I haven't saved the script. I could go under File and choose Save. Or I could simply click on this. And when I click on this, it's going to save it. I'm going to put it in my Scripts folder so I can put this on the uh, web page for you. And I'm going to call this Labor Day... Oops, let's put this up here. I'm going to call this Labor Day Labors jig and save it. Let's run it. Oh, and it says, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, if you must know, and I guess you will know, happens to be tofu. So I click on tofu. 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 Okay, that was exciting. Remember that I can control the speed with which things happen. Run fast is far left, single step is far right. The farther to the left I move this, the faster it goes. Let's try this. Um, okay, tofu. 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 It's maybe a little bit faster. Anyways, that ends this video. If you have any questions, you can call me. You can text me. You can Skype me. You can tweet me. You can run into me in the parking lot, uh, probably at high V. Have a great day.